question 4.1.3 is now asking us to sketch the graph of H um, showing the asymptotes and the intercepts with the axes. Okay, so let us do that. We have our y-axis. We have our x-axis. And we have our, I'm just going to label them properly, naught and x. And I'm now going to change color. My horizontal asymptote lies at y equals 2. So I'm going to more or less use my i and put it in there. Now folks, remember, put the equation of your horizontal asymptote in. Your vertical asymptote lies over here. They lie perpendicular to each other and also parallel to their respective axes. This is the equation of the vertical asymptote. We put it in and then the y-intercept. Now remember, for the y-intercept, x needs to become naught. So we have our tips. For the y-intercept, we let x equal to naught. And for the x-intercept, we let y equal to naught. That's always the case. Now folks, I'm going to make an important note for you on the sketchboard. You always write in the equations of the asymptotes. Okay, always write them in. And then obviously the coordinates where they cross. So let's do that calculation. We know that the equation for this hyperbola is minus 3 over x minus 1 plus 2. So for the x-intercept, we let y equal naught. Now, if y is equal to naught, then we get naught equals minus 3 over x minus 1 plus 2. We throw the 2 to the left-hand side, and we get minus 3 over x minus 1 is minus 2. Cross multiply, minus 3 is minus 2x plus 2. The 2 moves to the left, we have minus 5 is equal to minus 2, and then finally x will be 5 divided by 2. So the x-intercept will be at 2 and a half. So let's put it in more or less there, 5 over 2. Our y-intercept, we just need to make x naught. So if I want to find my y-intercept, I make x equal to 0. Okay, so if x is naught, then y will be minus 3 over minus 1 plus 2. Now that gives you positive 3 plus 2, which lies at 5. Okay, now remember, 5 is more or less going to be there if um, my 2 is down here. So let's draw this in. There comes the hyperbola along the axis. Try and keep your hands steady. And it moves along the asymptote. And then it comes from minus infinity through the x-intercept and it moves along my asymptote. And there I have it. A good four marks for that diagram, folks. You should get full marks here. It is not a difficult question at all. Okay, so that takes care of the hyperbola. In total, again, eight marks should not have taken you longer than eight marks. It took us a bit longer because I needed to explain a few things to you. You can always expect a hyperbola in your paper.